Hi, you guys. We are going to be working on the packaging for our comb and brush set. Okay, and with that being said, let's get it. The first thing we want to do is pull up our background for our packaging. So we're going to go to upload and find the print that we would like to use. Hit insert image and it'll pull it up for us. Now you see how small it is. Now you want to measure out your packaging. I mean, yes, the cardboard portion of your packaging uh, to the height and width that you will need. Okay, my height will be 7.9. Now that's the exact, the exact height. Now I want a little bit, just a touch, just a tad bit of wiggle room so I don't have to be exact when I place the uh, vinyl paper onto the cardboard, okay? And I'll show you that as we progress into this video. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead at the top and change before I do that, excuse me, let me back it up a minute. Let me unlock it. Because the reason why I want to unlock it, because I want to change my height and I want to change my width. So at the top, I'm going to go ahead and change my height to 7.91. 7 now I want to also change my width to 3.7. Now that's the exact width. Like I said, I want a little bit of wiggle room on that too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 3.71. Okay, so now we got our um, background ready. Now we want to put our image onto the background. Now I want to go ahead and back over to the upload and find the girl boss uh, image. And we're going to upload that. I'm going to find her. There we go. Hit insert image. Now you see how big it is. So now you got to um, figure out how big you would want that to be now I'm going to go ahead and make it the height 1.5 now I will not unlock this I'm gonna keep it locked because I want the height and the width to um, portion itself together as far as with the image so I'm just gonna leave it locked so I'm gonna hit height and 1.5 is what we're gonna work with yep good size see that's a good size. And you might want to play with it to, to your liking and how big you want it. And, you know, all you got to do is come down to the bottom um, right-hand corner with the two arrows and you move it that way. But this is what I want to work with, so I'm going to leave everything as is. Now, if you notice, if I, as I put this girl boss words on top of the cheetah print, it does not look right because it blends together the black with that it's just not going to work but i want to leave it black i like i i want it to leave it black so what i need to do is i need to highlight this girl boss and i want the background of the hot the highlight portion to be gold so i'm gonna go down to the upload um on the left hand side of the screen hit it Come on now. There we go. And there it is right there. Sometimes uh, Cricut Design Space have its little hiccups, but just got to kind of work through it. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the, I'm going to take the image in the bottom uh, right hand side with the two arrows. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Small enough for me to work with, okay? And I'm simply going to take the word girl boss that we had previously done and put it on top. But you see, whoop, boop, you, you can't see it. It's behind the gold. We're going to fix that. We're going to go up to the top, hit arrange, and we're going to hit send to the front. So now our image goes directly onto the front of the gold, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the word girl boss and our glitter gold, background so I'm gonna highlight both of those I'm coming down to the right hand bottom corner where it says slice and I'm gonna hit that and what it did is just cut out the girl boss image so now I'm going to move the portion that we do, I do not need and I'm going to get rid of it I'm gonna hit that X on the top left hand corner okay so now I got my black girl boss which I'm going to keep because we're gonna need that and now I got the gold okay but if I put the black on top of the gold like this 
it's not going to really work. You can't really see it. So what I need to do is make my background thicker. So I'm going to move my black girl balls back up to the top. And we're going to um, work with the gold right here. And I am going to actually duplicate this about three times. So I'm going to go up to the top right-hand corner where it says duplicate. And I'm going to hit that three times. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to take one of the girl balls and I'm going to move it so where we can see. And then I'm going to take another one and I'm going to just line it up. But I'm going to offset it just a tad. Barely anything. It's going to look weird. That's okay. Because all we're trying to work get is a thickness. So that looks good to me. And then I'm going to come up and get another one and do the same thing. Line it up, but kind of offset it a little bit. Just a tad, not much. And then I'm going to come and do the with the last one. You can do it as thick as you want or however you choose to do it. But this is how I'm going to do it. That looks good to me. Now, if you can see it, it looks really weird. You can barely even read it. That's fine because all, all we need is that, that thickness. I'm going to come back up and get the girl boss. Now, you see it's behind it. It kind of looks cute like that, but I'm we're not going to work with it like that. But I need that black to be in the front. So, I'm going to go up to the top of the screen where it says arrange, hit that button, go down to where it says send to the front, and now our black girl boss is in front of the gold. Now, it looks good. Now, I'm just going to offset center the black onto the gold. Now, this is what we're working with. Now, that's as thick as I need it to be. And there you have it. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit flatten. We're just going to glue all the pieces together. See? Nothing going nowhere. Now, I'm going to put that on top of our leopard print. And I want this to be on the top corner. We're going to place this on the top right-hand corner. Just like so. Now, I don't want it to be touching the top because I need a little bit of wiggle room when we place it onto the cardboard. So, I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and upload my little baby, my baby girl boss. So, let's find her. Did I pass her? There she is. Insert her. There she is. Now, I want her to be, I'm going to keep her locked, okay? Because I want her to portion out the size that I need. All I want to do is change my height, right? Height, excuse me. So I'm going to come up here and remember we ain't unlocking it. We're going to keep it locked. I'm just going to change her height to hmm, 1.792. 1.792. Okay. Perfect. That's the size that I need. Now, like I said, you can play with it. You can move this arrow down here at the bottom right-hand corner and to get make it as big, as small as you want, or just simply type it at the top like I did, however you choose. But this works for me. So I'm just going to place her right directly where I want her. So I want her in the left-hand corner, but I don't want her touching the top left-hand or the or the, the touching the exact side of, you know, the leopard print. I want a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. So, with that being said, she looks good just like that. Boom. She's good. Now, at the bottom, I want to add comb and brush set. So, we're going to go ahead and hit text on the left-hand side. And I'm just going to type in comb and brush set. Okay. Now... Looks good. To, oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, look good to me. Now, I want to make it black, black. Not that off black. We're going to do black, black. Boom. Now, I'm going to make it the size that I need to fit on the leopard print. Now, as you can see, again... It blends right in. You can't barely even read it. But like I said, I want it to be black. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do similar, should I say, as the girl boss words on top. I want the gold background. So let's go ahead and hit that go upload. Let's find the gold. There it is. Insert that image. And I'm going to make it small enough so we can work with. There it is. Boom. So I'm going to put this 
black the black words where it says common brush set i'm gonna put that on top of the gold so i'm gonna go up to the top hit a range send to the front boom is in the front now the, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the new feature it's called the offset feature that cricut has that cricut design space has so i'm gonna hit that and then if you look, if you can, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's like a, a border around where it says comb a brush set. It's a little border around it. I don't want that, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Mm, that looks good to me. Let me see. Oh, oops. I just messed it up. Let's get that back. Okay, so I'm going to make it a little bit smaller how I like it. You can adjust it however you wish, but this is how I want it. And I'm going to hit apply. So you see how it's highlighted it? Now I am going to highlight that. Okay, you know what? I lied. Okay. I'm skipping a step. I'm trying to refresh how to... Okay, so I'm going to move where it says comb and brush that. I'll move that out the way. Now, I want to keep the highlighted portion and my glitter background. Remember, we can only... When we do the slice, we can only do two images as at once, right? So now I'm going to take that the the background and, and the glitter, and I'm going to highlight both of those. Now, see, the slice is highlighted, so now we can work with the slice feature. So I'm going to hit it, click that at the bottom right hand corner blue and it cuts out our image okay i'm going to get rid of the portion that we do not need i'm gonna hit that x at the top left hand corner and then i'm this blurry part this this portion right here we don't need that anymore okay so i'm gonna get rid of that as well i want we want the glitter so now we can put it on the bottom of our image just like that and now we're going to take the coma brush set, the words, and move it right on front. See how it's not on the front? That's okay. Go up at the top where it says arrange, hit arrange, and go down to where it says send to the front. Boop, there it is. How cute is that? Now you can see the words. Now go ahead and just highlight everything, and we are done with the design of our package. Okay? Boom, there it is. Go to the right-hand corner, the bottom right-hand corner where it says flatten. And we're about to glue everything together. together. I'm, excuse me. Hit the button. Boom. Everything together. Now we're ready to print it out. Okay? Now we want to check over everything, make sure our spelling, we didn't mess those letters, anything. Or everything looks good. Everything's highlighted the way we want to. Okay. It looks good. Now, if you're wondering why I have this big open space right here, why I did not put anything right there, because this is where we're going to place our comb and brush, right here in the center. So, hopefully we measured everything correctly, everything lined up, and we will find out on the next step. With that being said, we'll be back. Okay, now I, have, I am in the process of printing out our image. Again, we're um, in design space. And we are going to click on vinyl. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, everything looks good. Now we're going to get ready to go ahead and print out our image. Now, all you got to do is go up to the top right-hand corner where this green section is. Hit it where it says make it. Double check over everything that look it looks good, looks great. So you're gonna go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit continue, the highlighted green portion right here. Now before we do that, I just want to show you what type of printing paper we're using. This is the inkjet print vinyl glossy. This is what we're looking like. It's, it is for inkjet. I have an inkjet printer, so this works great for me. When it prints out on this, it is so pretty. I will show you. You can use any printing paper you wish. Um, you can, you know, glue it on with some type of adhesive, whatever. This is a sticker. This is already a sticker. So you just, it's vinyl and just stick it on your, whatever you want. And it's very pretty. I'll show you. And so now go ahead and hit continue. Now it says send to printer. 
Now, it's going to ask you um, at bleed. And you can see that section is um, highlighted green. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm not going to take off the bleed. What it is, when you take off the bleed, it'll leave a white border around your image. Um, I usually take off the bleed when I'm dealing with, like, um, hair. The texture of my image, the image have, like, different textures of hair and it's real detailed. So, I'll take um, the bleed off, make it easier for the Cricut machine to cut out. Okay, but in this case, we're just doing a rectangle. Super simple, super easy. Leave my bleed on. I don't want that white border. I want that professional look when I put the image on to our cardboard. So once you get done, you hit print. Since I already previously done it, I'm not going to do it. I'm just trying to show you. Just hit print. Okay, and then it'll ask you what material you're going to be using to cut. We're doing vinyl. So I usually just hit vinyl and it cuts out completely fine. Um, yeah, so just hit vinyl. Then it hit continue at the bottom corner, but I already done it. So I'm not going to do it again. So with that being said, we'll get to the next step.